Sup, y'all? Anna Reno here. I'm just driving home from a three-week run down in Florida, and uh, I, I basically had the time of my life. I mean, every time I come to Florida, I just think to myself, why don't I just live here? It's just such a great place. There's so many great things about Florida. Man, I love it down here. Just great. But I'm driving 15 hours back to Columbus, Ohio. You go, why do you drive? Why don't you fly? You know, there's a lot of reasons, but I suppose part of it is because I like to drive. I like a long road trip. I like seeing this beautiful, incredible country that we're so lucky to live in. People have no idea how lucky they are to live in a great country like this. But anyway, that's another video. This is what I want to talk about today. I did a gig last night in uh, Sebring. And the first night was packed, but the second night, Sunday night in a Baptist town, nobody showed up. There was like nine people brand new place anyways, you know, uh, that's going to happen to you sometimes in comedy, as a comic, this video might be a little bit for comics, but it might apply to, to other things in life too, if you just hear me out on what I'm saying here, it might, it might apply to something in your life, but, um, this is kind of another video from the Jake Anarino School of Comedy series. Never judge a crowd by its size. Never judge an audience by its size. I've had great audiences that were just a few people. I've had terrible audiences that were sold out. So it's like, it's unusual for, for a sold out show to be bad, but it's it, I've had bad crowds like that. You know, like, maybe they were all comped. Maybe they were supposed to see somebody else, and they canceled, and they, they stick you out there. That shit happens. Uh, but, when you have a small crowd, uh, a lot of comics just cancel. They're like, I'm just not, I'm not going up for nine people. I'm just not doing it. You know, they don't have confidence in themselves. But the, the woman paid me to do a gig. So I, uh, I got up there and, and I noticed when, when I have a small crowd, I almost try to give them, I almost try harder to give them a good show. Like it's not their fault that it's a small crowd. You got a few people that, you know, they, they're, 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 they want to listen. They want to have a good time. Give them a good time, man. There's a famous story. Red Fox was playing Vegas and, uh, only 15 people were in the crowd and they hired a big band to play the Sanford and Son theme song. They had the big curtains. They had the, the dancing girls. It was a whole production and, uh, the curtains open Dun, 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 dun. And uh, Red Fox looks around and says, 15 people? I ain't performing for no 15 motherfucking people. And then walks off stage. Dun, 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 dun. The curtain closes and that's it. I thought that was pretty funny. But I wouldn't do that. If there's 15 people in my audience, damn it, they're getting a good show. You know what I mean? I'm not going to phone it in. I'm not going to, you know, make fun of them for being a small crowd. I'm not going to do any of that shit. I'm going to give them my A show, my A game, my best job I can, I can do. And that's what I did last night. And I fucking, I had a blast. They had a blast. I crushed, man. I killed it. 
I got applause breaks and everything. Nine people. Nine people in the crowd. Keep them there buying drinks and spending money. Help the people that booked you out by doing that. Give them a show. Give them more show. Try to stretch your time. See how long you can go. Because, uh, you know, it's... It's your job. In 10 miles, take a slight right turn to merge onto I-4 East toward Orlando. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. You noticed, I don't know if you heard that, if that's going to come through or not. But my GPS just told me to do something. And, uh... You ever notice GPS voice is always in a female voice? That's why I know a female invented GPS. Because if it was a dude, he wouldn't have let it have been a female voice. You know what they're doing? They're training you to do whatever a female says. Make a left up ahead. Why don't you call your mom? Do the dishes for me. Don't fuck other women. You know, bossy shit. Anyway, never judge the audience by its size. Always give them your best show. I see comics all the time. I'm not going up. There's not enough people here. Well, you're a pussy. So there you go. That's the, that's the lesson I learned last night was... I suppose I learned it before last night, but... That's what's on my mind today. <laughs> 